She had no idea what she was getting into. Oh, good lord. It just, just, oh man. I'm <laughs> topic of accomplishments. Kevin, what have you accomplished? Well, I've accomplished a hell of a lot. I started my own movie series. I created a Skull Media Enterprises empire. And I've done a lot of stuff with my life, which is a hell of a lot more than I can say about any Democrat in human history that's ever run for the presidency. Especially People like, I don't know, Andrew Jackson, you got you got Hillary Clinton, you got Barack Obama. He had no campaign, by the way. And now we have Chelsea Clinton. Meanwhile, and, and might I add, there's a lot of stuff that I've done in my life that she hasn't worked a single second towards doing. And with all due respect, Chelsea, you haven't accomplished anything. Now, now, well, wait a here minute. Here we go again, wait a minute. Folks. I've She's been admitted to several prestigious universities because of who my parents are. I've been conferred degrees because of who my parents are. I was given my jobs and positions because of who my parents are. I've never earned well, less than six honest, figures once, because right? of who my parents are. I have achieved nothing on my own in merit and for the rest of my life, despite having no real experience, I will make millions of dollars for doing nothing because of who my parents are. And that's the fact. Right. Well, you know what? You know what, Chelsea? Honestly, forgive me for saying, on second thought, hell, don't forgive me for saying this, because you're not even half as good as your mother once was. And she was a Ponzi schemer. She was a Ponzi. You know that? Yeah. This guy is our little big shit of the day, yay! Actually, on second thought, no, I'm just kidding. Our real little big shit of the day, in reality, is one Mr. John Kerry. Now, tell me why that is, huh? You, you want me to tell you why that is? I'll explain it to you very simply. This guy is a useless, worthless sack of dog shit because he commits treason on a daily basis and dare I say an hourly or even a minutely basis by negotiating so-called negotiative deals with Iran and it's just so funny man you get got your door yeah John Kerry be like ah! I like 
But anyway, the Logan Act forbids unauthorized citizens from negotiating with foreign governments, also known as treason. John Kerry, working with enemies of America. Or, if you'd like to put it in a blunt way, working with the fucking shitheads that run our country. Now, if that's not worth telling, then I don't know what the hell is. And I'm just being real with you, because, because, oh! <laughs> you rain, motherfucker. Does the phrase Nazi Germany ring any bells to you? Well, this man was a general for them before and during World War II. But, I mean, I mean, he's also our another, he's also our next little big shit of the day because reasons. This guy. You know. <laughs> Look at this guy. He's got blood all over him. <laughs> Let's shit on this guy. Okay, so this guy apparently was a Nazi general during and before World War II, and for some reason he enjoyed every bit of it because he is a left winger, he is a fuckwit, a dumbass, a democrat, and he has a D beside his name. You know why? Because he's a fucking donkey. And that's what all the Democrats are, they're donkeys, they're jackasses, they're fools, they're mules. They come straight from the horse's ass. And then they just, oh, yeah, man, yeah. <laughs> anyway, anyway, let's just cut to the chase. George Soros is a piece of shit. He does not deserve to live. Somebody should just literally just shoot this guy in the fucking head and cremate his ass and spread his ashes all over Adolf Hitler's grave because that's where he fucking belongs and and let me let me tell you something else let me tell you this let me tell you this not only is George Soros the biggest disgrace of humanity that this generation or any other has ever seen but this guy is what happens when two parents conceive and a demon baby comes out of the mother's womb. You get someone like George Soros. Not to hate on the guy, but this guy is a real piece of work. He's useless, he fucking sucks, and he's a disgrace to the human race. And somebody should just behead him for the crimes that he's committed against us. Which, which says a lot now that I think about it. It says a whole lot more than I can say, and I can tell you that certain. And if you don't like dirt, okay, I want to explain something. To you. This right here, that's news. This over there, that's news. This over there, that's news. This right here, that's news. This is not news. That is not news. That is not news. That is not news. That is bullshit, apparently. That is not news. That is not news. That is not news. That is not news. These are not news. This is not news. That is sure as hell not news. And those are certainly as hell not news. What's wrong with this, you ask me? <laughs> Nothing. Everything that I'm telling you right now is truth. Legit. 100% truth. <laughs> There's a keynote speech that was going on at the F8 Developers Conference, and there was a chief security officer for Facebook named Alex Stamos, who shared an image of the world that used light to show the sheer size of the company's network! Yay! It was intended to highlight all the places where people are using the Facebook product, and as you might expect, there weren't many dark spots, obviously. 
because Facebook is obviously the place where you can slam your liberal agenda upon billions of people and not get reprimanded for it. This year, Facebook's F8 Developers Conference was bound to be different because the company's still dealing with the aftermath of the Cambridge Analytica data privacy scandal. But Zuckerberg said during the opening keynote he was ready to move forward, which he's obviously never going to move forward with this, and came to talk about how Facebook doesn't plan to light up the rest of Stanless's maps. The goal, according to Mr. Zuckerberg, I mean Zuckerberg, but when I say Zuckerberg, is to make the world smaller by building projects that will help people connect in meaningful ways, no matter where they are or what device they're using. With more than 2.2 billion monthly active users, Facebook alone is already hard to escape, if not impossible as it is presently. How else will you find out about your next high school reunion when your distant cousin has a baby? The millions is their preferred means of communication, and for an alarming amount of people, it's how they don't get their news. I get my news personally from Twitter or on the sim. Facebook has also found ways to inject itself in people's lives in an almost unthinkable way! If you want to donate to charities, you can do that on Facebook. Want to promote your band show? Facebook can do that. Want to make a group call? You can do that too! Yeah! Because <laughs> you're going to meet with like-minded individuals who you may never meet in person, but may cyber-bully you for whatever reason, because fuck knows why, and I don't care. So... Let the parade of liberal cucks begin.
Ultima Spaghetti! Hey, so recently, we just celebrated the 200th birthday of Mr. Shucky Ducky Fuckaduck himself, Mr. Karl Marx. Now, why are we celebrating his birthday? I don't know, but we shouldn't be celebrating his birthday. We should be shitting all over it because his idea of socialism, which, by the way, was inspired by Andrew Jackson's Trail of Tears and his Democratic presidency, was a remarkable historic failure. Yes, that's right, folks. It was an absolute failure. And I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Socialism was linked to all these other events throughout history in the last 200 years, which led to the rise of ISIS, Hezbollah, Al-Qaeda, terrorism in general, you know, all these other things that people won't mention because it's too politically incorrect for reasons I'm not going to discuss, because you already know and I don't have to tell you, because fuck logic, right? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and that's and that's not mentioning the fact that Karl Marx was a total failure in life. He never held even a simple job. He wouldn't take a job. He wouldn't work a day in his life. He had a rich man, the son of a factory worker and founder, no less, who gave him all these things on a silver platter. And yet, Karl Marx still chomped the hand that fed him while promoting capitalism and socialism and communism and all this other horse shit that nobody gives a fuck about because reasons. And you wonder why everything's going to fuck in a handbasket. Well, you can thank Karl Marx for that. But most importantly, you can thank Mr. Jackass himself, Andrew Jackson, for that. And you know why, folks? Well, I'll tell you why. Because he is the definition of what a president should have never been in the first place, which is a genocidal ethnic cleanser of jackassery proportions. Yes, that's right, folks. And 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 you know hell, and 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 and. By the way, I have a question. I have a question for you. I have a question. What happened to socialism, by the way? What happened to it? Well, no, wait, never mind. Happy birthday, Karl Marx, you piece of shit. Hey. And now it's time to look at some insensitive freaking tweets. freaking tweets. First one, okay. First one from Fassi Ahmed. Well, actually, the first and second. Well, actually, the first and second, technically. Wow. That. Wow. That. That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. I've made a mistake like that. Before, I've made a mistake like scale. that before, but never on this scale. Next one. Whoa! Whoa! How dare you mention? How dare you mention? Oh, Jake! No, just kidding. Yeah, he had it coming. Yeah, 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 yeah. Say, say. Oh my! Oh my God! Oh my God! What else? Well, if it isn't Jake on me, it isn't Jake on me. How to affect a foreigner when it's America? She's an Arab. She's an Arab. Well, she's converted to Christianity. Well, she converted to Christianity in 2016. So your argument doesn't hold up. Your argument doesn't hold up. You're really surprising. I'm not 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 since, now doesn't it? Well, in his case, technically. Well, in his case, in technically. Her case, it doesn't make sense. In her case, it doesn't make sense. Go into Africa. Open up. Go into Africa. Open up. Get AIDS. I'm white. Just well, kidding. I was I'm white. Sensitive. Well, I was pretty Sorry. insensitive. I just like Sorry. being a dick. I just like being well, a dick. Well, nobody likes you. Well, nobody likes you. Hurricane update from Miami. Hurricane update from Miami. Residency risk of dying from boredom. Well, you do realize that the people in Florida are dead now because of that hurricane. 
because you know the Irma, the hurricane that you know, hit, Irma, the hurricane that never hit, mind. the hurricane that never mind. I'm so finished with white sands, so finished with white sands, and time and night. Then I ain't really about to tell you, really about to tell you, because it's my kid, because it's daddy, no time. Well, well. I don't know what to say about that. I don't know what to say about that. The planet ironic that the Detroit, Detroit is known as the Motor City, and yet no one here knows how to fucking drive! Yeah, it's good, uh, yeah, it's good, like uh, good, uh, dumbass like your Chrysler representing company. Your Chrysler company. You should fire him right away. You should fire him right away. Urban Outfitters is extremely sad that this was perceived as the tragedy at Kent State. You thought everyone had forgotten? You thought no, everyone had forgotten? No, we haven't. And you're out of touch. Before we leave, this episode of Spot the Liberal has been brought to you by Julian Bakery, which has all kinds of protein bars for that very specific person who has a certain allergy, a certain diet type, or a craving for really, really good food with as little sugar as humanly possible. And it's also been sponsored by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, which is paid basically by people just like you. Thanks, you. Now piss off.